What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to script Stage 3 ELS in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you are wanting going to do is obviously you want to get yourself a car. I'm going to be using this 2011 Crown Victoria, or if you're weird you can use 2011 Crown Victoria. Um, it really does not matter what you put in here. You could go ahead and you could put in a Lamborghini for all I care. ELS works the same. You can put on any car. There are or there will be cars that you come across that just don't really work for ELS. So, um, what you want to do is you want to get yourself a light pack. Um, you can pretty much just go into your toolbox and search light bars or light bar, light bars, light bars, and it's just going to give you a packs that you can you know holy light bars, light bars. Etc. We're going to grab this pack here. And you're going to want to pick yourself a light bar. If you're doing unmarked, that's fine. Same thing. Any other lights, you're doing the same thing as I'm going to do here. Um, you want to grab yourself a light bar. I'm going to go ahead and use this CHP uh, Liberty back here. Because, you know, it's a Crown Victoria. Now, I'm not going to script them script the lights like CHP just because that would take too long for this video. This video would end up being like 30 minutes long and that's just not a good tutorial. So then what you want to do, you want to put it on top of your car and you kind of just want to scale it down. Like as you can see this thing looks hella big right now. So you can hold control and bring one side down and it'll size both sides down. So then you want to click move. You want to kind of put this on top of your car, make it look a little bit realistic. As you can see it's now too small. So put that about there, and come over here, and put that about there. It's just like that. Now, you see, it looks perfect, but at the same time, it doesn't. It is very off, and it's too far back. On real police interceptors, your light bar is centered with the door frame. So you kind of want that to be about right there. So this line here with the door frame is where you want this middle piece to be. This middle piece right here, you want that to be lined with the door frame. Then once you've scaled that, you kind of check over here to make sure it looks good, which it does. You want to go ahead and take this light bar here. You want to click on it. And you want to make sure it's anchored because obviously it needs to be anchored. Next thing you want to do is you, you really don't have to check if it's anchored, but if it's not anchored, it just won't work properly. You want to click on your car. You want to go into your car. You want to go into your body, you want to click this little plus here. Click the plus, you're going to type model. Boom, it's going to add yourself a model. You can either hit F2, or you can right click and hit rename. You're going to rename this capital L, light bar. Just like that. You want to take this, you want to click on your light bar again, and you want to scroll until you find your car that you just opened up and added that model. So mine, I'm assuming, is going to be up because that's usually where it's at. It doesn't... Oh, we lost it. It's usually going to be up because that's where usually the cars are. It could be down. It could be in the middle. You just kind of got to scroll through and find where you want it to be. Not where you want it to be, but where it's going to be. And you really have no choice. Like right in this certain server or studio I have a poop ton of things in here so then you're going to want to take it once you find your car as you can see this is LOL yes which is the Crown Victoria you want to drag your light bar into that light bar model that we just made <clears throat> once you do that you want to go ahead and take your light bar not the light bar you want to click on your light bar and hit that plus and you're going to type part you can either enter or just click the part. So now what you want to do is you want to take your part and you want to move this up towards your light bar. Just like so. And you kind of want to size it to your light bar. Um, you could really do this easy, hard. It really depends. You can, if you're trying to make it look nice, you can go ahead and just um, kind of, instead of you know, making one part the front and back you can take the back and make it 
you know, its own thing. So that's kind of what we're going to do here. Um, I want to make it look nice, but at the same time I don't because this video would be, again, 30 minutes long. So what we're going to do, we're just going to size it to fit that light bar. Or the, I guess, the, the LED of what you would call it. I'm going to make sure it looks good in the back as well. And you, you really don't have to, but it's better to make sure it looks good in the back. Um, obviously, it's not going to look perfect because, you know, the front and back dimensions are different. So you just kind of got to... It, you just kind of got to mess with it until you get it right. Um, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really worried on making this thing look perfect. So once you get it how you want it, you like I said, you could take this and just move it like that. Just so it's the front and then you could take them and move it all the way to the back. You could duplicate it and then just bring it to the back as well just to make it look better. But at this point, I really don't care because I'm just doing a tutorial here. Um, once you get it sized, you want to click on your part again. You want to go to material. And you want to hit neon. So pretty much what that's going to do is going to make it neon. It's going to make it, you know, bright. Um, right now I have my bloom turned off in this studio. Um, if you have bloom turned on, obviously it will look a lot better. Um, going into your color, I honestly, you can do whatever red you want. I seem to think terracotta looks the best for police vehicles. Um, so just kind of hit control D, duplicate it, and bring it over. You know, duplicate it again, bring it over. And this is where you want to change your color. So, I like to use royal blue, which is 80, 104, 190. That's royal blue. You can use medium blue. Um, I choose to use royal blue just because it looks tends to look um, a lot better once you have bloom and, you know, in-game reflections, etc. Um you have to put royal blue, you have to type it in manually because it is not on this uh, little palette, I guess you could call it. So once you do that, you're going to duplicate it again, bring it here. You might have to size it down a bit just because it's going to be a little messed up. Um, once you do that, like I said, this looks shitty as hell and it's not going to be perfect. But you, you just it's a tutorial. If you wanted to, you could make it look perfect and realistic as hell. Um... I'm only going to do four parts here. I have a couple videos with eight parts or, you know, ten parts. But we're going to go ahead and take your first part. You're going to re rename it. Remember, I said you could do F2 or you could right-click and do rename. So we're going to name that W1, W2, W3, W4. Enter. You hit enter or you can just kind of click off of it. Um, once you do that, you're going to want to make sure all these are anchored. So you can go through and just make sure every one of them is anchored. Or you can click on one and then hold shift and click the last one. And it will select all of them. Hit anchor. So basically, if your lights aren't anchored, you'll go into game to test your lights. And they'll all just fall out of the light bar. So pretty much, you need to have make sure they're anchored. Um, once you're done with that, you want to click the light bar model. You want to type script. Not local script. Script. And it's going to say in, you know, print hello world. You can go ahead and delete that. You want to type main. Name the equals script dot parent while true do wait. You know, in stage one or just one stage, you put a zero there. You don't do that for stage three. While true do wait if main vet dot stage dot value equals one then main ved dot w1 dot transparency equals one now pretty much what you can do here is you can copy this if you have a lot of uh, parts you can pretty much just copy and put as many as you want boom 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 so there's four go through and you want to change your numbers sorry if I'm speeding up a little bit this video is just getting kind of long um you know you got to go slow for the slow people in this YouTube-ish thing. Um, then you want to go ahead and hit enter again. You're going to type weight 0 0.1. So for my stage 1, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have the lights. There's not going to be anything on the light bar for stage 1. So basically, when you have a 1, the lights are off. If I put a 0 here, the lights are on. So we're going to put a 1 there. And then we're going to kind of copy this. You're going to hit enter. You're going to hit backspace you're going to type else if 
main var dot stage dot value equal equals two then you can kind of paste that again you can kind of switch it around uh, what's wrong here I, I'll fix that in a minute I don't really know what's wrong here you can do main var dot stage dot main value equals two then what's wrong here I don't know. It might be a new Roblox update. Couldn't tell you. Never usually does that for me. Um, once you do that, you want to hit enter again. You change these up. You can put a zero there, zero there. Kind of copy this, paste it under it. One, one, zero, zero. So basically, what you do up here, if it's a zero up here, it's a one down here. Um, we can go ahead and change this up. You want to take it to, it'll be a little slower. You want to hit enter again. Backspace, else if, main vet dot stage dot value equals three. Then, paste that again. You can go ahead and just switch it up a little bit. I'm going to do this, just because it seems to be a little faster. Copy, paste, switch up the ones to zeros and zeros to ones. Like I said, I'm trying to speed this video up because it's already 11 minutes. Um, and who wants to sit through an 11 minute tutorial? Once you're done with that, you want to go enter, else, boom, make all the zeros, ones, and you're done. You want to hit apply edits. You don't have to hit apply edits, but it's better if you do. You want to exit out here. And then if your car does not have drive seat, you know, pick up sound control, etc., um, you need to go ahead and get that, and I will leave a link in the description to a car of mine that already has that. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to grab this other Crown Vic here. We're going to go into the Crown Vic. Boom. We're going to take the strobes, the stage, the remote event in the middle. We're going to hit copy. You're going to click off that car. You want to go in here into light bar, and you want to hit paste. Paste into like I said, you can make a mistake like that. I did it on purpose to show you guys the mistake. You want to go ahead in here. You want to click off the car. You want to take your strobes, your stage, your remote event, and your middle. Like I said, copy. Go in here. Paste into. You want to take this. And you can kind of rotate it. Control R. And you just kind of want to put that in the hood of your car. Just about like that. So now your car should, technically it should work. So we are going to go here, we're going to go bloom. We want to make sure enabled. So that's going to get our bloom. You're going to hit play here. Or you can hit play, but I like to hit play here because it spawns you right where you were. Now this is a bigger map, so it's going to take a minute to load. Sometimes it'll spawn you in weird. There you go. I'm going to go in here. Like I said, stage one is nothing. Stage two. And then stage three. Um, like I said, you can make it a lot more complicated, a lot more complex, and make it look a lot better in the back. Because as you see, it looks a little jacked up in the back. But that is basically how you script stage three ELS in Roblox Studio. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you like, subscribe. My name is Brayden. Stay safe and take care.